space. A seemingly endless flow of lights, darkness, and questions. Where did it come from? How did it start? Where does it start and where does it end? How did it start? And will it ever end? The more we see, the more questions we have. How do we feel? that void in our minds. Is that why we live? Pursuing this goal? Or are we part of the thought process of another? With the advent of the Hubble scope, we started gazing out farther into space. See more lights, see them much clearer than we ever have before, and it's, appa it's an apparently wonderful, beautiful, amazing thing. And it brings out so many questions. Uh, to some people, there's no interest in that, and they're not going to listen to this video. But you're here and there's a reason why. We've maybe explored 5% of our oceans. And we're just now finding out that some fish, some other animals that we've never knew existed all of a sudden here they are. <clears throat> so, 70% of the uh, Earth is ocean. Uh, approximately. Who knows? The exact amount. Don't care. There's so much in space that we're not aware of. We're barely aware of ourselves. We need to fulfill a desire within us to learn more. It's part of human nature for the most part. It's part of who we are. We want to understand we have a thirst to gather as much knowledge. <clears throat> Excuse me. As possible regarding everything we run into. We want to understand. It's simple. It's not that it's a thing you do every once in a while. It's part of your daily life. Where did we come from? We're here, and yet. There's so much about ourselves we don't understand. You have to wonder sometimes how much more is there to us that we're not aware of yet. You have scientists from different areas 
religious people and family members, mom and dad, friends, occasionally talk about some of the bigger areas in life. Are we alone on this planet? This vast universe that we're part of? Are we the only ones that are living, sentient, talking people? Through the ages, we've been shown in a soft manner that we are not alone. And we're not. It is 3.15 a.m. Tuesday, December 5th, 2017. There's a uh, place out in the West Coast in the state of Washington, I believe. Um, uh, Mr. Gillian has a ranch out there. And uh, it's near a mountain where there's an incredible amount of activity from other planets, people from other planets. Uh, they fly in and out. Folks, this is happening all day. Uh, most of them cannot be seen. A lot of them are showing themselves. They're flying here from other galaxies. Do you think they can't hide where we can't see them if they don't want to be seen? I said a long time ago that the Anunnaki, it's a group of uh, extremely reptilian people, there was that there was a group of them that were here running this planet for a little over 10 million years. And uh, the Anunnaki people themselves are actually very cool. The ones that have been running this planet is a, an offshoot from them that's they literally tore into Mars and destroyed it. Their their ancestors did, and they're trying to be. They were trying to be smart about the Earth, but they still kept destroying it, polluting it. Didn't care. They cared about personal wealth, their personal social structure, their aggression. Just ran rampant. So many of those folks today still are extremely carnivorous. The government uh, put together and set, helped them put together and allowed them, if you can say allowed, uh, to grow their own human flesh bodies to eat. Beings from other planets, they're people. Animals, they're people. Uh, plants are people. Uh, when you have opened up yourself to be able to use all of your faculties, your abilities, that's when you really become an explorer. That's when you really start finding out who you are, what you can do. 
that is when you pick up more data and assimilate it within you between the heart and the hypothalamus gland <clears throat> and you create your own understandings everyone does this for themselves everyone has their own truths which will change through your life some things will remain steadfast maybe and then others continually change so that we can enhance who we are so that we can better ourselves nothing's any better than anything else the fact that we exist gives us equality within creation that's always been a fact that's pretty much never been allowed so things are changing so why does space exist who made it did anyone make it what did they make how much of what who had the recipe Scientists today know that there's life on other planets. And there are just trillions of planets with life on them. What we call humanoid life, like us, with large amounts of people. Many of these races have been around a long time. Very long time. And you're starting to you ready to meet some. I've been talking for this for a few about this for a few years now. It's already happening as far as the show and tell. But uh, 2018 is when it all comes together. That's when it breaks out. That's when they actually say, "Hi, how you doing?" Want to check out my car? <laughs> Doesn't have wheels, but it's really cool. Uh, that place out in Washington, I'm not trying to hold back the information. I, I have no memory. I've been trying to finish my work while here in a body. And I've been very sick since September of 2015 so I can't keep going much longer uh, I have things to do is you know who I really am not this body that I'm in not this body that I'm talking to you through uh, so someone might say, gee, Jay thinks he's an alien. Aliens are people from other planets, okay? No, this body comes from this planet, Earth. It's my 220,000th life here. And the last I'll ever have. Happy for that. We come into body so we can learn, so we can understand, so we can develop and evolve. We were put in the bodies by the original first being that split itself into two parts, male and female. They've been breeding us so that we could release smaller parts of ourselves as spirit, not these bodies. That's been happening naturally. But they have to keep growing more and more bodies because they were getting ready for more and more souls to be released more praise machines for them anyway you hear people talk about our friends from other planets and their telekinetic moving and everything and, well you're going to find out real soon that's a bunch of bunk their ships defy gravity um, that's how they move believe them that we already have that technology we've had it for a while 
uh, so they have the ability to move objects, but not using their mind. That's a total different place. See, the, the greatest space that there is is who you are inside. That's the greatest mystery there is to life. It's who you really are. What your real life is about when you're outside of your body as your normal self, spirit, sentient energy. And then when you put in a body, why, why that happens and what happens during it and what, what it's like. You, you think you know for the most part, but you really don't. But you know something's up. And there's been some serious change, folks. Through the years, some people have called me a creation's historian. Well, I'm kind of like the old hermit of your tarot cards. The old man that just has been around seemingly forever. <laughs> it's a funny word in itself, isn't it? Forever. The original first being just came to be within a first dimension, which is separated from everyone else, everything else, and it's locked up, so what's in there can't come out. There are, right now there are four new creations wanting to happen. The fourth one is nowhere near ready yet. But they want to come out, they want to explore. There is so much going on that you're not aware of when it comes to our friends that, who are ETs, and that's including me. I can do what no one else has ever done in the body. I've proven it beyond a normal, everyday person's thought process, but we're proving it now with scientists I've already proved it with medical equipment that I can reach out and touch people's minds all over the world and change the thought process. I'm not talking about running someone. I'm talking about changing the brain to where it actually starts doing more for itself. When I, years ago, I would, you know, drive and uh, fly, you know, just travel to different places, putting on events. And uh, especially when I fly, the CIA would go nuts. They'd follow me. They'd be at the airport watching me. When I quit doing that, uh, there'd be like seven, seven to nine agents in the airport. FBI and Homeland Security came to my house together. Not hand in hand, but they came to my house together. They were trying to understand what was going on, what I was doing. They asked for some of my stars, and I. They didn't understand. Then the gentleman from Homeland Security, he was the one who was in charge when he left. He had more questions than he did when he got there. But he left with one feeling this JSX guy is not a problem. And he didn't understand. The biggest question he had is, why is this man such a threat? Why does the upper echelon of Homeland Security think this man is a threat? The folks in charge didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't watch me. They've been in, in the house, out of the house. They're not worried about it anymore. People, the Anunnaki, the problematic Anunnaki, not the Anunnaki people themselves, the problematic Anunnaki have been taken out of power. I talked a while back about the Drak race the very first life I had in a, making any kind of physical body it was the very first life I ever had 
and it was my better half, Lily and myself. We had the first hundred million lives on a planet called Gaira. There are some huge pieces of Gaira here. Planets blown up, but there are many pieces of her energy right here. Spirit sentient energy, but exact the energy is in a stone, but her spirit she's outside. I call it S and I uh, somebody's found a stone they call it Azez to light with the Azez beings it's all bunk Robert Simmons or something like that whatever I got a hold of him let him know of course there's no reply he think I think he even trademarked the name whatever but it's actually Essenite and then uh, star Essenite has star matter inside it Incredibly powerful stone. You can see it at uh, the spiritual foundation dot com. Some people say that uh, I want to do commercials or something to make money or whatever. Um, our society runs on having something called a dollar or the equivalent value. Uh, that's how we live. That's how we breathe, eat, especially for me, breathing. I have two different lung diseases. You don't think that cost? Just one of my scripts, my main script for my lungs is well over $300 a month. So. But I've also shown that the money comes in and goes out immediately. Almost immediately. I'm here to help, to serve. I was made in the beginning to serve and protect. It's just what I was made to do. So I'm a little different than other people, but whatever. Like I said before, nothing's any better than anything else. If you don't have that to start with, how can you have any kind of fundamental cohesion in anything? any group of living beings and that's already started and our friends they're here there's an Allurian ship that landed um, it, it, one of the gentlemen in the video uh, said it looked like it was uh, like tube like it, it's not it's not round but it's a lot closer to round than it is too, like, <laughs> um, and it landed in, uh, um, the Gillian Ranch out in, uh, Washington. Uh, I think the website is like, uh, or YouTube channel is ESETI, E-S-E-T-I, maybe ESETI Ranch, I don't know, but y'all are experts at this, you can find it. And no, November 29th, the ship landed. It was uh, had a Lorian. It was a Lorian ship. Uh, there were some Sapacient in there. They're like the Nantids. Um, very cool. And uh, actually, they uh, you trace their history. They came. They're a branch of the Nantids, uh, second oldest race there is. The eldest is the Drak, and they're the ones that actually made all this happen. Um, but there was some uh, Lurian, uh, some Serpacian, and uh, a little more uh, uh, Serpoian than uh, Serpa a bit more Serpoian than Serpacian. The, the Serpoians, they've been called even, you know, they're from the Zeta Reticuli section of space, as we call it. I talked years ago about the Drak coming here and putting out a. Uh, it was around Mars that they put the device on, the main one. Uh, and this, it's a field generator. And you can't get in or out. I said, it's, it's up. It's here. It's done. People cannot get out. You can get to Mars and that's about it. Okay, it's right around there. Um, that made a lot of things off limits. And I said that they were going to get rid of the Anunnaki here in this planet. And get rid of the problems. And they pretty much have all this action around that east uh, the uh, Gillian Ranch. 
That's a huge, it, it's, there's underground tunnels and this is like a nexus where they come together. It's a huge place that was full of people, supplies. And they're still taking them out. That's what that ship was doing, November 29th. Most of the stuff is taken out. They were going through what was there and trying to organize it. And they're still finding out more about uh, some of the things that were going on down here. The Anunnaki that have been running this planet, there's very few actually left. Most of them have been either destroyed or taken away. So to speak, in chains. There's not in chains, but they're prisoners. So. They came in at night. They don't have to worry about hiding themselves, but they don't want to show exactly what they look like yet. This is a coordinated action. They will not show themselves their physical bodies yet, although they're starting to in and out of... Uh, uh, talking with people in and out of the minds, it, it's slowly happening. They're going to be public soon, before the end of 2018. There'll be some real pictures, not this Photoshop garbage on uh, YouTube. It's amazing what they can do with cameras. I've seen Superman fly too, okay? So, so we can tell I'm pretty low tech. This is here for a reason, though. Redoing the shelf, but more importantly, uh, something else is happening. Anyway, um, I told you that Drock were putting a, that they had just put a force field up. I told you about it less than 24 hours before it became functional. How? Why? Because I talked to him. People, you all have abilities you haven't even come close to touching yet. I told you that people are going to have cell phones they'd be using their cell phones and uh, taking pictures of starships as they're crashing. They were going to try to leave, they're going to hit the barrier, they're going to die, you're going to see it. People will take pictures of it. Just like I told you, there's going to be pictures of people taking pictures of uh, Anunnaki and stuff. This will happen and recently. I told you that uh, John could have come down here and get rid of... Uh, the rest of the uh, problematic uh, Anunnaki rulers, whatever, here on the planet. That'll happen soon. Before the end of next year, well, well before that. The second life the first life is what I call that is what it was Lily and myself. The second life, again, Lily and myself, we were torn apart, ripped apart in our first life. The original first being male and female, now dead, what everyone calls God. Uh, they made that happen with their own intents. And it wasn't for happiness. People think about the law of attraction. Oh, you can have what you want. Wow. That's pure insanity. People talk about what I do and they call it a cult. I'm like, wow, really? Let's see, let's talk about uh, religion. Let's just take Christianity. They're all similar, but uh, uh, the Jewish, uh, uh, Muslim, the Christians, especially them, the big three. Yeah, yeah, big in, in their own way, I guess. Um, they're unreal. Is a perfect, all loving, all forgiving God that made hell abuse you forever. Um, get on your knees and pay here. You can't see God, but it does exist. Pay us. What? 
Our church is better than a church up the road on on Plain on Plain Street, right next to Apple Boulevard, and uh, we have to see your W two. We got to know how much money you made because we're going to get ten percent of that. What? And we we have Sunday schools on Sunday, the day of praise, where you stop what you're doing and you get on your knees and you praise Almighty God because He loves you, and then He builds hell to torture you forever if you don't. And we're the way that you get a hold of them. And we're the way you pay them. I tried that once. I threw money in the air. I said, hey, God, keep what you need. Give me the rest. I guess he doesn't need money. Um, I used to be involved in the church when I was a kid, but uh, grew out of that quick. If anything was worth your praise, I wouldn't want it. And it also wouldn't allow it if it was able to keep that from happening. There's so many... Uh, reasons for people to question and you all are so the sea on our planet the oceans about 70% of it only 5% of it are we aware of so do you know how little that is that we're aware of on our planet and we're looking out in the space we're not even a grain of sand on a huge beach Well, when you leave that arena and you go into what's real, I mean, space, all this stuff we're talking about, that's real. Yeah, look at it. There it is. What about everything you can see? What about your spirit? Oh, I've got a soul. Really? Can you pull it off? Yeah, pull it off. Let me poke it. No, you can't do that. Oh, okay. And you tell me what I do is insane and, well... I've used ex extremely expensive medical equipment to prove it, and let's see, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been under lock and key of a board of psychiatrists. They could have thrown away the key for a year. They said, you rock, man, awesome. It's amazing what you do. Uh, then had to see another psychiatrist, all part of the process. I've done this to myself, so. And she actually said she could feel my energy. Da da. How much do you all want, right? And why do I do this? Now, now it's in court. It's already part of court documents. And it's going into court pretty soon here, a few months. It's about uh, me being uh, attempt the attempted rape, so to speak, by my sister, of me, of the funds. Uh, my parents left me and she's trying to keep everything. It's silly. But anyway, uh, while in court, that's coming out. So, did I make the, did I start the lawsuit to put it, to put the, uh, to bring this to the court? It, it's not about that, it's about everything that it is, but it's part of it. That was designed by the other side, so. Whatever. Uh, that's what I've been working on is helping you to understand that there's life on other planets but to understand more about the life between your ears who you are inside and how that started because this space universe and everything this is our third dimension there's three major dimensions first one's off limits locked up, sealed, nothing in, nothing out. Second dimension is where we, is huge, it's where we leave, where we live, uh, when we're uh, not stuck in a body, so that we can evolve and grow. And uh, third dimension is us right here, and then there's other dimensions in different locations, but there's three major dimensions. So, what came first, chicken and the egg? What is soul? What, you know, how did it start? Where does God thing come from? Is there one? Well, it's not anymore, but it was the original first being, that's all. It was lonely as hell. It was the first one. That's why it split itself into two uh, similar parts. That was birth of male and female. Folks, things are so easy. 
this book, it, I had to write three books. I'm, written, I'm writing the fourth one, but creation. It's the beginning of your origin. That's how everything started. Everything. This is from way before the universe was born. Or created. Creation is the beginning of your origin. Who we are and where we came from. By some goofy old fart in overalls called Jay Essex. Yeah, I'm all about self-glorification, okay? Um, that's the different type of beings. Uh, by the way, this, uh, with the thanks of NASA to allow it, that's M66, okay? That's the house that Ira built. And uh, so anyway, that's how it all started. The different types of beings there are as spirit beings in creation, not the folks from other planets. There's trillions of planets with life on them. You think you're going to put that in a book? Good luck getting a computer to hold all that info. I'm sure we have it, but not accessible to uh, us, the, no the normal people. What's normal? Normal is usually a category someone puts you into because it's going to serve them for some reason. Then book number two. I just finished uh, going back through and touching it up. Um, had a lot of typos. I added more pages to it, cleaned it up. It made it a whole lot easier to read. Creation, its journey evolving into paradise. The growth, source, spirit, war, and reformatting of creation. Okay. Again, M66. And now there's a third book. Well, I have a small book of runes book. Um, I've made symbols to help you talk to your spirit guides. Okay. Divination, reading the future. Folks, don't even go there. Okay. What actually controls your lives now it's a million little people running around, don't know what the hell they're doing, and there's nothing organized. Number one. Number two, especially if something cares about you, it's going to keep change going continually. Because it wants you to have a good life, but yet learn and, you know, serve the, the purpose of you being in a body, which is not about it. And you, it's not about some couple of beings that never had a life. This is about you developing and who you really are. The sum of your frequencies, some some beings, some of us are more explorers, teachers, um, uh, 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 help givers, you know, a lot of uh, compassion. It was different. Uh, so anyway, this book, Jara, that's me, J. Ara Essex. Uh, it's, it's a legal name, legal alias. Deanna Ramirez Anaya. She owns the Spiritual Foundation and uh, the Spiritual Foundation .com. She's uh, an architect, physical designer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Artist too. She made these. I just gave her the symbols. She took pictures of the runes that I used to make, the actual runes out of uh, a special wood out here, Fay Beach from a certain tree as it fell. Um, and she did all this. So I just made the symbols and I, they have gave the meanings for it. And it's rather loosely done because as you as you start to look as you use the cards, it's a deck of cards, fifty six cards. As you pull one out, you look at it and there's a symbol it means one basic thing, but it could mean a couple other things. As you pull it out and look at it, your spirit guide's gonna talk to you. And you're going to be like, huh. And the next thing you know, you're talking with your spirit guides. That's why I made them. Okay. Truth is changing all the time. So anyway, um, so the, the second book, the creation book, uh, the creation series, uh, creation, its journey evolving into paradise. Uh, of course, there's no true paradise compared to how you've been living all your lives there's been a war going on I've been in the middle of it fighting it myself um, so uh, I told you that I was different inside this was my job you spill something on aisle 9 at the grocery store on the janitor I come clean it up we well, finally got to the point where what I really am not this body was strong and able and had to, was forced into uh, doing what happened. So unfortunately, uh, uh, 
there was a lot of change that had to be made, and it was. Excuse me. <clears throat> now this third book, uh, it's being written. It's telling you what's going to happen. Okay, I'm loose on the dates. Some of them, uh, I'll give you the year, like I already have in this video. But uh, this is what's going to happen. Things that are going to change. Which new lives are going to be? You're all going to. There's 1,672 new universes waiting for you to go into to have lives in the new bodies. And you all haven't even met the faith people yet. You're about to finally meet our friends from other planets. And then about 2080, 2084, somewhere right around there. It'll happen as soon as possible with the flow of things. You're going to meet the faith people here in this planet. Their energy, energy bodies, and they start making it dense and it condensing it more and more. And then they can actually make a physical body, shake your hand, and then float away. You won't to where you can't see them. It's like, what? The new bodies you're going to have in these new universes to have you new lives, they're going to be like that, but even better. Uh, you don't eat. You live off the energy that you uh, take from a fallen apple and a thimble of honey. That'll feed you for a month. No pain. You'll feel pressure and stuff, but you won't feel pain. 72 to 78 percent of all the abuse, frustration, everything else in your lives is going to be gone. Yet you're going to be getting a workout so that you can take your who you are, your natural frequencies, and start working on them. It's like a nice, easy workout. And it doesn't hurt anything. Well, anyway, uh, it's time for me to get away from talking. Uh, my throat's starting to close up again. It's something I told uh, Deanna a couple of days ago was going to be happening again or a few days ago. Uh, it's like the Sega Antelope when he died. I put out a video in February saying, as a reminder, I said it's about time for large amounts of, uh, for large amounts, large herds of animals to start dying at one time because animal essence was more abused than anything else and it was being taken out of the bodies. So then in March, of 2015, just just a month later, uh, 220 about 220,000 half the world, about half the world's population of Sega antelope just dropped dead. Pfft. I'll put a picture of it here, and then uh, next thing you know, uh, at the end of the video, and then also next thing you know, what happens? The uh, reindeer, some reindeer get knocked out like three times a normal amount from a lightning strike where the lightning hit the ground. Folks, it doesn't hit that hard. That big this is all being done and you can you know, Google it. There's been large amounts of animals dying for a while, but nothing like what's gonna happen next year. Uh, human animal essence. You find out about animal essence in book one. Okay. Creation is beginning your origin. Um Animal essence is extremely powerful with fortitude and, and compassion. And they've been abused more than anything else. And they've been being taken since the original first being male and female got beat up real bad. The first fight destroyed two thirds of what they are. That was July 10th, 2012. And then in May of 2013, the other third of them, both of them, was destroyed. Sometimes you get rid of a cloud, there's a little, you know, you get rid of a cloud, there's still a couple little raindrops. It's, it's like that with energy. But that's everything at all visible is already gone dead. And then their servants, the angels, the original angels, first angels, not the new ones. Almost all of them are gone deleted 
the ones that are left are really cool. So anyway, uh, that's why I had to write these books. Just so that you'd know what's going on. And this, I'll probably be off camera for a few days, which is good anyway. I've loaded up over 500 videos. I'm trying to feed you all the information one way and the other that I can. Uh, I've proven to thousands of people that I can go into your brain and make you stronger, awaken your abilities, and most of the time your brain physically grows a little bit. I'm not talking about two inches over here, something that's crazy. But you take a string, put it around your head, make it, you know, take a string, put it around your head, pull it off, make it where it's pretty darn tight, real tight, so you don't have to worry about it loosening up, okay? And then you put it back on your head and you feel it, and then you put it in a drawer, you get cranked up, and then here it is four months, three, four months later, that string doesn't want to go down, man. You can go get your brain measured, but why spend the money? And now we're proving with scientists, with very well-known ones, that I can actually change your DNA. There's a DNA change involved. A big one. With these last consults this last year. The spiritualfoundation.com, if you talk to, um, uh, if you go there, uh, number one, it's all kinds of uh, information there. If you have access to very good information, you have access to different stones and crystals. There's so much information for you. Every single thing you need to awaken and become yourself, to have a better life, to have a full life, is at the spiritualfoundation.com. And there's actually a company, the Spiritual Foundation. It's Deanna's company. Deanna's source, she's very strong. Uh, things are changing because it's long overdue. And the original first being male and female finally went over the line to where there's absolutely no coming back. So they made something really strong to protect it, and it finally killed them. So, sounds crazy. Well, probably sounds crazy that some guy can actually go in your brain, make your pineal grow and everything else. Uh, you know, spiritualfoundation.com, front page. Look at a quantitative electron encephalogram. Uh, with uh, Martin Perro, a really cool guy out around Sweden. Um, and myself, we, we did a very poor video. We had to do it through laptops and Skype. And it's a mess, but uh, the information's there. I've shown it to doctors and psychiatrists, and it blows their mind. Scientists, too. It reminds me, i got to send a copy of that out to somebody. But... Um, geneticists so there's the universe the third dimension that we have here that we're looking at in, in awe just wow look at all that you know and then there's our own planet we haven't come anywhere near understanding half the planet yet even looking at it. And then there's the rest of the real world, the biggest part of everything. Who you are inside, spirit beings, where it came from. It's in the books. And each book builds on the other one. If you want to do this, I'm not telling you what to do. But if you want to understand the information I have for you, get this book first. Amazon.com, Amazon whatever, all over the world. Uh, it's been released to go into libraries, but you won't find it there yet. Um, the reason why it's not popular enough yet. Folks, this is just happening. But that tells you who all the players are, what's going on, how it all started. 
then you go to this book. This one's a little bigger. That's, you know, how everything started relating to it, how the different beings started relating to each other, what was going on, uh, how things developed. This is the birth, okay? This is the growth. And then book three, which I'm writing right now, is about the future of creation of you. So. Uh, our own truth comes from the data we can get a hold of. I want to say transceive for some reason, who knows. Um, from the data we can accumulate, consume into understanding. And the more different understandings we have, the greater our personal wisdom. And that's where we base our truth, which is a flexible thing, because as we learn more, digest more, we need to change what we consider our truth a little bit on and on. So. The third book is it. I can't keep this body going much longer. But I've left you everything you need to start your journey on a nice road. It's a good road, solid, smooth, for you to find yourself, to explore, to understand everything else, to learn how to come out of your body. This is a time of great change, not just for us on this planet, because in, in that respect, it's huge what's about to happen. Everything's going to change. It's already changed. There's just only so much you're aware of right now. You'll find out more. You'll find out more about me later by our friends that come here from all, all over the place. The drug, they were the first race. They're the oldest, the strongest, most powerful. The second life ever had, or second set of lives ever had, was when Lily and I went back in body on a planet called Gera. And we had just been torn apart by making bodies the first life that were just more like our normal loving, carefree self. So the second life, we made the Drock race. Strong, powerful, wait till you meet him. Look for the little, little, <laughs> look for the hook behind the uh, back of the foot, back of the heel. You see him, you know who they are. When they walk into a, a room on a planet, people get quiet. They're incredibly compassionate. Their culture is incredible. And they're powerful. So, and they're the ones that came here to free us. So anyway, folks, all kinds of good things are coming. And if you want to understand more about yourself, that's why I wrote the books, uh, the cards, the rune cards. Uh, that's one of the runes on there. Okay, it's, uh, I mean, it's victory. Okay, success. Um, the cards, it's like a playing deck, but the very, very high quality cards that last a very long time. And you pull a card, and then you talk to your spirit guide. Pull a card, talk to your spirit guide. Just, just look at the card, just look at the card, twist it, when you put it down, twist it the way you want. And your spirit guides self even talk with you. The more that happens, the more you understand that you have spirit guides. That something, the first thing to understand is, okay, something's going on. This is all kind of coming together. And I, I feel this. You have to do all this for yourself. Learn it for yourself. I feel this. There's something going on. And then you start hearing it. You know, you understand. It's energy talking energy, okay? It's no physical body making a noise. But you, there's still energy. is frequency. So you still hear something eventually. 
doesn't mean it's a voice. You, you feel something. There's something going on. The more you do it, the more things change. You become yourself. That's reality, folks. Not this physical body. This, these physical bodies are real, but they are not reality. They're a small part of it. Um, on those consults I do, the DNA I see, you see, you would actually change your DNA. Um, if you don't think I can, that's fine. Love you. You know, think I'm a nut. That's cool. Love you anyway, man. Doesn't matter. Uh, nothing will stop me. You can stop this body. You can't stop me, though. Um, but when we do this, I have you feel your energy shells. And you feel them change for yourself. You make up your own mind. Like, hello? <laughs> you know, isn't that what we're supposed to be doing here? And I do. This body's dying. It's very tired. Very sick. My hurts. My hurts. <laughs> My heart hurts right now. So what? Um, I'm stronger than I've ever been. The closer you come to leaving your body, the closer you come to being yourself. More of you is flowing outside of your body. That's who you really are. Your spirit, sentient energy. But you know there's five fields of energy that make sentient energy. That makes sentient energy. God, my throat's gotten bad. The, uh, the fifth field and largest uh, field necessary to create sentient energy is an electromagnetic energy. That's what we use to map the brain out and stuff. So, this is a wonderful time in creation's history, let alone your life let alone your, all your lives, to be in a body to be right here, right now. But no matter where you are, this is a wonderful time to be. Creation's format is already on its way to changing from abuse to one of compassion and honor. The age of understanding. What else should any of us be but all of what we are? I'm simple, man. I can't be any simpler than what I am. Folks, I love you, man. Take care.